Hey everybody, this is Lord Magicus, and this is the uh, last round this week of Merfolk in Modern. Uh, we have a fucking fantastic hand, we're going to keep it. We are on the draw though, so we'll see what we're up against. But I am very happy to keep... Uh, maybe... I, I might need to revise this, because uh, that is not really what we want to be up on the draw against. Hardened Scales is very bad for us. We're going to need our Goddess very, very quickly. Ink Moth, Hanger Back, oof. Alright, take our one. We gotta put as many Lords in play as quickly as possible. Hmm. Keep the Tricksters for now. Tide Shaper can hopefully take care of this thing at some point if we can find it. Ancient Stirrings. I am not a. F I don't like this card. <laughs> we have a history. <laughs> they found the Ozolith. That's very bad for us. And they are playing Power Depot. This is one of the new cards they got for their deck. Why did you not play Ozolith? Oh, you're, I guess you're just planning on putting a counter and hanger back. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm definitely ticking this up. Alright. Yeah. Just hope they don't play like Walking Ballista. Yeah. That is super, super dangerous. Um, okay, how do I defeat this now? What is our game plan versus Arcbound Ravenger? I might need to use these tricksters here. Alright, so they can make like a bajillion hanger, but I guess I guess this is okay for now. We're very close to dying, though. I'm probably going to need this trickster for that Ink Moth Nexus. That's actually very good. Okay. See, now we have some options here. So maybe what I need to do now is while they're tapped up, I might have to kill the Arcbound Ravager. So if I trickster down the Ravager here... I can dismember it. I mean, this is going to make a ton of tokens. I guess I also have the option of using Trickster on this thing right now. 
If they sacrifice it to Ravenir, I can dismember it then. Otherwise, I can dismember this thing. But then, I don't think that, probably I can't die to this next turn. What happens? Um, so yeah, I trickster this thing down. If they let that happen, then I can dismember it and it won't get tokens when it dies. So then the most they have is, yeah, like they, they won't, they have three, four, I think I can do this. Otherwise, if they sacrifice it to Ravager instead, then I just dismember the Ravager. Uh huh. We just hope that Ink Moth Nexus doesn't kill us. So if we can untap next turn, Trickster will keep us alive. Alright, deal. Alright, so hopefully this doesn't end up with us dying. Walking Ballista for one. Oh, that's rough. Well, seven counters isn't enough to kill off of our board yet, so. Alright. How do I do this here? I can I can make it so they can only kill one lord. Then are they still dead though? I think so. Two cards in hand. All right, what's the right way to do this? So I need to make sure Ink Moth Nexus doesn't kill me because it's actually getting close to that point. All right, um, sequencing here. I'm pretty sure I have to vial in the Lord after they start removing counters from Ballista. They won't. I don't think I can kill them this turn. Like, if I trickster this thing now. Actually, what happens if I do this now? They go. They kill this one. They can only kill one creature, right? So. Yeah, so effectively they can kill this one, they can take seven, not be dead. <sighs> if I trick through this thing down, it actually forces them to start doing this, so I think that's what I have to do here. Okay.
Uh, that did not work out the way I wanted it to. I think maybe I was supposed to use the Lord first. Alright, uh, it's still okay, I guess. I guess it just depends on what else they have in their hands right now. I guess, the, I don't know if there was a sequence where I could have actually exhausted this thing. If I vial this in first, they still could have did it in response. That's very good. Okay, well, I guess I can just... Uh, force the, uh, is there a correct way to do this? They can't put two counters in this, right? Um, let's play Regery and they have to block with at least two things. Is there a reason to play Silvergill first? Um, I don't know if there's anything that might change in my mind here. This looks like this is good enough. They can't pay any mana still. I think this just means they're dead. Unless they draw, like, something fantastic. I don't think they can kill enough stuff. I think I like they can like block two things they can ballistic only deals two damage to something so they have three blockers and we're killing them well, actually no they, they have four blockers right because they can do this but that's still not enough they have to have something in hand that's gonna be fantastic okay maybe that's enough to live Okay, well, they can kill off a creature with the ballistas, but, like, I still don't think this matters. Okay. I'm pretty sure I just have to attack with everything here, so. And they have to, yeah, use the ballistas to kill this. But they're they're still like in deep shit next turn, and they have no board. So I guess this technically keeps them alive, but not really. Like they can't. They, yeah, the, the only thing they can do is exhaust both the ballistas and kill like the regery, and then throw away these as chump blockers. And I still have four creatures in play. I think it's over. I don't know what they could possibly have next turn that would change anything. What? You, no, this doesn't work. You're dead, right? If th this is death. You're at three life. You you have to do something. So these. Actually, no. I guess if they block here and then they kill that, they can take two, go to one, and then try to kill this thing like this. All right. I guess that makes sense. But you're still gonna be at one life, and they have like a bunch of stuff in play. So, I guess this is technically better, but not really. Now the ballistas are going away. Yep. 
I still keep the tricksters and the lord, so... Okay. I have a force of negation up, so like... Probably nothing matters here. I have three things. Ooh. I don't think that's going to do it. Only one of these things has to connect. I don't know, maybe if they have an, another ballista, they can make the uh, blocker and then they still have three blockers, I guess. It's one way to possibly do this. No, they don't. All right. B just barely managed to get there. Um, I don't know if Force of Negation is actually that good against them. I definitely want the dismember. Hmm. Yeah, we can't really change too much against them. Like, the Chalice and one is like okay, but not really that good. Actually, maybe I need to keep the force just to counter like the Ozolith or something like that. I guess. Take out a Silvergill Adept. The one toughness stuff is really bad against them. Maybe Brazen Borrower, just because it's interaction. I guess maybe bouncing something will be fine. Alright, I'll run it like this. We don't have a lot of cards against them, but I think the cards we have, well, this is not going to do us any favors with no lands. Not like this, come on. What I We have to keep this, I guess. Um, this is such bullshit. Twice in one league, like, we're just getting ridiculously screwed here. Alright. The problem is, like, they have hardened scale that I didn't have a way to get rid of it. You know what? Maybe I'm supposed to have counterspell. You know, I guess counterspell is better when we're in on the play and we can have double blue up more reliably. So we can counter stuff like Arcbound Ravager that's much better. I just think on the draw, Counterspell is not as good. But I might be more inclined to play Counterspell when we're on the play in game 3. Alright, that card's fantastic. That card is also fantastic. Yeah, Modular triggers an extra time. I could really use Tide Shaper to kill this thing next turn before it gets out of hand. Yeah, they found a land. What does this mean? They can destroy an artifact they control. This also means like they can still play Walking Ballista and it's bad. They also have the scale, so Bliss will have two counters and can kill my lord. It's not the worst thing that could have happened that turn. It's far from the best. You are not the Tide Shaper I needed to kill this. Because now they can find, like, Ozolith, and that's terrible.
I guess I just have to attack with uh, the dock hand here. If they block it. Ooh, interesting. Um. Alright, I guess if they have the Ravager, I'm fucked, but otherwise, like, I think I need to kill this thing. Let's make sure they don't get their Thopter tokens, at least. All right, here comes. I think I think Ozolith is what they get with this thing. Okay, that's fine. I think we're also at the point where I tick Vile up because I can cast basically anything. Um, Silvergill's already been pulled out here, so yeah, I can cast any spell that I draw that's two mana or less, and. Uh, I draw three, like, and then I can also attack with Mutavolt, so I'm gonna tick Vile up just in case. Alright. Alright, doing what we can, hoping that we can just do stuff before they find Ravager. Uh, that's dangerous. Always know. So what do I do here? Just attack with all these dummies again? We can double block stuff if they want to. That was a mistake. I should have used the cavern. I like this blocking order just fine. Alright, now I think we're fucked. <laughs> the, the Ravager is not something that we can like reasonably defeat at the moment. Especially not with that. Um, I think we're dead. Oh, uh, they also have Ink Moth Nexus, so yeah, we actually are just dead to that. Alright, um... Okay. We'll bring in Counterspell, I guess. Well, I don't know that Dock Hand is that good, but yeah, it's alright, we'll keep it. Mimic might be a little bit clunky. All right. Mm. Do it like this. This isn't actually that good of a hand, to be honest. This doesn't really accomplish anything that we need it to like. I can force a Harden Scales, but I don't think that's enough. I think I need better. This is not really any better. I 
I guess we're gonna keep it though. We're just gonna put island in the bottom and just hope that uh, counter spell just buys us time until we find threats. Yeah, cool. Okay, um, no, that, no, we can't be doing that. We'll probably have to save this for either Ballista or Ravenger now. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, all right. I have to counter that. That's not terrible. All right. I don't think it really matters here. They're not a counter spell deck. Just attack with this. No, yeah, if they had like that, that, that's terrible. That means they can find basically anything off of this. Hangerback Walker is not exactly good, but it's not the worst thing that could have happened here. Oh, they're going another Staring Zeus. That's also terrible. I guess they want to find a land here. Let me know about this. Throne of Geth. Oh, fuck me. Alright. Throne of Geth is like terrifying. Yep. Okay, well... That is not good. I think I need to keep this in my hand for right. Well, so they didn't do this. This means they're probably going to make an artifact with this thing. All right, I'm going to keep this at the moment. Okay, helpful. Dock hand, okay. The only thing Svalon is protecting us from Ballista at the moment, which is sort of okay. But at any given point, like, this can fall apart. Like, if they find a Ravager, we're basically fucked. Yeah. We did not find Tide Shaper, like, one time this entire game. It's ridiculous. 
Throne of Gath, yeah, that's, it is what it is. That is dangerous as hell. Oh, does this mean we're dead? Like... Okay. Fuck, we're actually very close. Oh, how did you get to... Oh, fuck, yeah, okay, we're dead. We lost. They just made uh, Ink Moth a fucking thing, so... Oh, fuck, that was... That was so bad. Like, our... I don't know, we did not have, like, much against them. Uh, maybe this means I need to run the Semic list out. I think we might need these Collector Oofs, because this is actually good against the food deck, and it's also good against that. We're going to see that. Urza Saga... Oh, there we are. Urza Saga is really powerful, so... Uh, it is what it is. Uh, that was our initial testing with this, so... We have got plenty more lists to play, so I guess we'll see how that goes. It's alright. That's all I got. So, thanks everybody. I will see you again next time.